Uh, why don't we start, uh, Kevin, with just the, the talking that went on. Uh, what impressed you about Well, it, it, what, it didn't impress me because you kind of expected it. But when you come to a new team, obviously there's a lot of new systems, a lot of new faces, and communication is key. And, and oftentimes when you come into a new team like this, maybe you don't have the confidence or maybe the, um, the experience to do this. But you see Ryan O'Reilly, he's leading the charge here. This is that second unit power play that had such a big night for them. And there's a lot of, like, dictating, trying to figure out who's going where. And, and there was looks on the ice. And not surprised that a guy who just came from being the captain of the Stanley Cup winning team is going to take the charge there. Ochari may be a little bit quieter, maybe because of his role and his resume not quite the same as O'Reilly's. But there was communication on the bench all night. You know, there's a lot of new things. Look at that curve. That's the curve that Ron showed in the open. Mm -hmm. So unique, but a lot of communication with Marner and Tavares as two line mates for the majority of the night. You'll see so much more of this moving forward, but certainly the first game we expected it. We saw it. That's why he's one of the great leaders of the game. And I'm with you, Kev. It's not a surprise that he communicates so well. So when he was in Buffalo and in St. Louis, O'Reilly, after a regular practice or a morning skate, uh, after the formal part was over, he'd gather some of the young guys, and it'd be like a little mini hockey school. And you'd go through all these different drills. He might spend, uh, on a non-game day, might spend half an hour with the young kids telling them all these drills or showing them drills and all these cool little tricks. And so that's what you get when you get O'Reilly. You get the full package. And we saw the communication uh, that he had tonight. And maybe Achari wasn't quite as vocal, but his presence was certainly felt in a different way. And he's a player who's going to demonstrate responsible decisions in a lot of different ways and here he is being more perhaps the more attentive listener but a good conversation was had on the bench we saw a couple of examples of that this was early in the game right positioning the high slot wanting the shot option speaking with uh, his stick movement creates a chance down low this one coverage coverage down low for Giro Dana who goes up to pinch on the uh, to step up of the blue line and then he prevents that chance for Montreal this is what we thought coming in the physicality he had five hits tonight some uh, sort of a fortunate bounce off the draw where they got a quality scoring chance, but just great decisions with his timing on when to jump down, when to apply pressure. This is another very smart play in the second period. Coverage again for the defenseman, up in the zone, chips the puck in, stay, but stays up high enough for a long enough time, and then when the timing is right, jumps down in the slot to great, create the quality scoring chance uh, for there. So. I mean, just overall, a presence that he had all night, great decision-making uh, and responsible play. By the way, Ryan O'Reilly is going to join us uh, here live in a couple of seconds. Obviously, they'll charter off to Chicago for the game tomorrow. And, Kelly, your question, not to be yes. a spoiler alert, but you already said it. You thought it yeah. would have been a lot easier for him to just join the team in the yep. Windy City. He didn't. He came here. Uh, Joseph Wall, now, do you think he'll go again in the Windy City because Samsonov's banged up? Yeah. Uh, I don't. I think they'll go with Shalgren. Um, just a just a gut feeling, really. Uh, I, I thought Wall was terrific, and I'm with uh, Chris and Craig. I thought the second period was his best work. When I thought the Leafs got a little bit sloppy, I, I think they lost their game a little bit in the second period, and Wall was excellent until the Leafs got going and built up that 3-1 lead after two. But you know, when you look, watch his game, this is a better indication tonight because you know he talked about before. We wants to learn how to read the play a little bit better, and we saw indications of that. You know, I don't think uh, his game where he lost to Columbus, uh, I didn't think Toronto played very well, and so he didn't look as ready, but tonight, uh, I mean, they played a better team game. And this move here with the Leafs, obviously it rejuvenated them, and we saw it with Jen talked about the temperament of the top guys tonight, like that little added buzz, that little added, I don't know what it was, spice, determination, but there was certainly, we saw more of it tonight. Mm -hmm.